welcome to our special program tonight, folks. And I do mean special program. Ray White on guitar, Cal Bell and vocals. Patrick O'Hearn on electric bass and little teeny puckered lips. Little skinny Terry Ted Bozio on drums and he will eat anything. And of course, Edwin Jobson on keyboards and violin. And nice white arms and ashes down the front of his clothes. And, and me with a song about your feet. In the dark, where all the fevers grow, under the water, where the shark bubbles blow, in the morning, by your radio, do the walls close in the suffocation, you ain't got no friends, and all the others that hate you, this is the life you've been leading, you gotta go, now tell the truth. Let me straighten you out. Not a place I know. Now get your shoes and socks on, people, because it's literally right around the corner. Out through the night and the whispering breeze, to the place where they keep the imaginary disease. Out through the night and the whispering breeze, to the place where they keep the imaginary disease. Call this stupid disease bromidrosis, and well, they should. But us regular folks who might wear a tennis shoe or an occasional python <laughs> know of this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of stank part. Yes, that's very true. Hey, listen, buddy, if you're gonna sell t shirts, don't do it in the middle of the concert, take them outside someplace. <laughs> Anybody else who's walking around the audience with t-shirts, get the fuck out of here. That pisses me off! I didn't know such things existed. A guy walking in front of the stage with a fucking t-shirt to sell to somebody. Well, you live and learn. Scientists call these t-shirts bromidrosis, and well they should, but us regular folks might wear a tennis shoe or an occasional buy that boot. Know this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of commercialism. You know, my python boot was too tight. Couldn't get it off last night. A week went by, and now it's July. Finally got it off, and my girlfriend cried, you got stay put. Stink foot dollars. Your stinking foot puts the hits on my nose. Stink foot, stink foot. I ain't lying. Can you rinse it off, do you suppose? Now this is the first, this is the first sterling example of real live Detroit style audience participation. Let's get ready for this. This is going to be one of the big ones. It's very simple, you know. A lot of people that do rock and roll shows want to get the audience involved and they ask them to do hard things like keeping time for the music. We're not going to do that. All we need is a girl, we need a girl, maybe several girls, who will actually kiss this ugly son of a bitch right here, just put their mouth right on the end of this stinking replica blue foot. Do we have, and I know we do, right there on the corner, just looking at you, the way you're dressed, the way your hair is, the way your glasses are tastefully poised on the top of your head, your lips are destined to come in intimate contact with this foot. What do you say? You say no? Of course you say no. They always say no at first. Are you ready? Now there. 
there's a girl with good taste. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give you one more chance to redeem yourself. Perhaps, perhaps you're just entirely too well groomed to actually, yes, that's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, share. Well, we'll put the foot away momentarily because we have some important things to show you. Many of these things that you'll see tonight are actually sick! The first mistake was roughly entitled, The Poodle. Check him out. Our guest poodle tonight is Frenchie. Now on God, say hi to Frenchie if you don't mind. Alright. When God first decided to build the poodle, Actually, it was a mistake because he wanted to build a schnauzer. He did fuck up. He knows it now. He did, did fuck up with the poodle. The original poodle had hair evenly distributed all over its small, piquant, charming, canine-type body. Then God made these other two mistakes. Mistake number two was mad. Mistake number three was woo man. Woo man has always been extremely clever even since the olden days. And man has always been extremely stupid, even since the olden days. And any woo man will tell you that. Of course, that's not the problem with the poodle. The woo man looked at the poodle with lust in her heart. She wanted to find a way to appreciate, to find a deeper appreciation of the poodle's snout area. However, she did not wish to do this with poodle hair sticking out all over the place. No, 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 that would have been too common. The poodle of her dreams had to have a disco look, and so she devised the plan. 
She turned to the man and she said, Zucker, go get a job. And the man got up off of his booty, left the, gar the Garden of Eden, went out, got a job pushing a broom for about $1.298 an hour. And then he came back and gave the money to the Wu man, who immediately took the money, left the Garden of Eden herself, and went to the nearest hardware store to purchase some scissors, some clippers, and a pair of zircon-encrusted tweezers. That's right. She came back, and she did a J-O-B on the D-O-G. She cleaned off his B-A-C-K, his T-H-O-R-A-X, his T-U-M, T-U-M, and here, right in this area near Flint, she removed the tiny brown particles that were so unattractive in those days. Then she tweezed, she tweezed thoroughly around this area here to reveal the little red flannel succulent, pink, moist, titillating poodle type tongue. And then induced the dog itself to squat on its hind legs, as I will now demonstrate. Can you all see the dog squatting? Well, just imagine the dog is squatting, because the next part you can understand really good. The dog is squatting, see, for those of you who can't see him squatting, and then the woo man goes over and Get the fuck out of sits way. on the dog's snout, making it go up inside of her mystery zone, Little black poodle lips and all, including the whiskers and all the little hair on the chin and everything, as I will now demonstrate. Somehow or another, while she was down there, she managed to look deep into the eyes of this aforementioned poodle. And she said these words. Your dirty love, like a meat donation to the dragon door. I don't want your sweet devotion, I don't need your cheap promotion. Pick me up a little bag of lotion for your dirty love. That dirty love, your dirty love, that dirty love. Give me your dirty love, like some tacky little pamphlet in your daddy's bound door. Give me. Your dirty love I don't believe you've never seen it done before I don't want your reservation Don't require your perspiration I only got one destination And that's your dirty love That dirty love Your dirty love That dirty love Choose it. Choose it. Choose it. 
And the next song we have is about a subject that is very complex. This is a complex subject because it, this subject is higher education. Some of you may have already come in, into intimate contact with... I'll wait till later for that. Some of you might have already come into contact with higher education will probably understand these lyrics very well because the name of this song is You Are Going to Wind Up Working in a Gas Station. This is song might offend you, son. If it does, it's because you're dumb. That's the way it is where I come from. Been there too, let me see your thumb. 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 Show me a thumb if you really dumb. Show me a thumb if you really dumb. Show me a thumb if you really dumb. Show me a thumb if you dumb. Working in a gas station. Why the working in a gas station? Why the working in a gas station? Why the working in a gas station? Home in the gas every night. Home in the gas every night. Why the working in a gas station? Why the working in a gas station? Home in the gas every night. Home in the gas every night. Why the working in a gas station? Why the working in a gas station?
all green and buzzing in his mansion of despair. Prisoners grumble and kiss their clothes and scratch their matted hair. A tiny light from a window hole a hundred yards away is all they ever get to know about the regular life of the day. And it stays so bad, the storm's been choking. In the room where the giant fire above the works and the torture never stops. The torture never stops. The torture. The torture. The torture never stops. Midget with a bucket and a mop where the blood goes down the drain. And it stinks so bad, the storm's been choking and the creep in greenish drops. In the room where the giant fire puff the works and the torture never stops. The torture never stops. The torture. The torture. Seats a steaming pig in a chamber right near there. He eats the snouts and the trotting spurs. The loins and the groins is soon dispersed. His carving style is well rehearsed. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. And disagree. No wonder. He's the best of cards. In the night of the island sausage, where the torture never stops. The torture never stops. The torture. The torture. The torture, the torture never stops.
eyes all green and buzzing in his dungeon of despair. Who are all those people that he's locked away down there? Are they crazy?
City of tiny light Tell don't you want to go Hear the tiny auto horn